Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube using my method that I always use, aka the simple beginner, the, the simplified beginner's method. So I'm just scrambling this cube up right now. Okay, so here. So now we're gonna make a white cross. Make any ordinary white cross for now. Now look. Now look at the sides of your white cross and make sure these connect. For me, mine don't right here. Mine is flopped right here. These are switched. But you could have um, the opposite side switched. So if they're sw the opposite sides are switched... You're gonna do this. So you're gonna like take it on the take that part on the bottom and then twist this how it would still work and then put it back. So you have your white cross. So but for me it's it's most likely for you to get this problem. So now, so you're gonna, I have an algorithm with this, for this apparently, I think. So it's R prime two. Got it? Okay, now D prime, F prime, F two, F two. Not F prime. F2. <laughs> and now D and then R prime. Now that should fix all of them. Now you're correct. Now if you already have a corner, take that out by doing this. You might have not saw that. By doing this. And now you shouldn't have that corner. Now if a white, a corner that has white on it is in the corner of the cross, take it out by doing the same thing. So now, so, see this white piece right here? See what other colors are on it. For me, it is orange and blue. That's the other colors on it. Now, I'm going to put it above orange and blue. So, like, find the colors. I found orange and then blue. Blue right here. I'm going to put it above that and then do r u r prime u prime until it's right here but in the right orientation r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime now that and i'll put the no notation at the end of the video so now that should be in the right place so you got one corner so there's a square right here. Now keep on doing. It. We're just gonna. So that has blue and red on it. Also, we're gonna take that to blue and red. We're gonna do do that. Oh, and you can call it the right trigger if you want. Now you should have the white side. If you don't, you should have done something wrong, probably. Now you should... Now if it looks like this, you're going to have to do that. I mean this. So it's in the right, like a... So like a T. Now put the white side on the bottom. And... Find like a color right here that... It can't be yellow. This can't be yellow right here. So... 
So let me find that. It goes right here. It matches, right? Now. So. Here. We're gonna. But it doesn't. It can't have yellow on it right here either. So make sure it doesn't. And then. So. This might not make sense, but. So there's. So on. Um, for me. Look at the top color, like this color right here of the, the top connected color that you just connected here. So, locate it on the cube. For me, it's on the left. So, you're, so if your color is on the left, you're going to do U prime, L prime, U, L, U. F, U prime, F prime. Now, it should have moved it right here. So, you should have a part of the second layer done. Oh, and if it's on the right, if it's on the right like this one, you're going to do um, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. Now that should have done that. So now, after you do that to all of them, it should be solved the second layer. So you should have the second layer done. We go by layers for the cube. So, we go by layers. Like, this is layer 1, this is layer 2, this is layer 3, this is layer 4. Okay. This is... Okay. This is getting to be a long video. Now, there's, like, three cases for this part. Well, three cases, yeah, I think. So, if... So after you have these, you're going to make sure you have open colors that aren't yellow here on this these spots. For me, I have no open color. So for me, I'm going to do, for you and me, maybe, you're going to do F, right trigger, which is R, U, R prime, U prime. And then F prime. You should put that back down. Now you should have like a triangle here. Now you should have to just turn it where it's right here until it's right like on the turn the top until that that yellow triangle is on the left the left top corner like this and now now you're gonna do the F right trigger F prime again well two times and now you should have open colors so here's one case for the next part. One case is that you just have um, one pair switched. So you're going to go on the like right side of the problem that's messed up. So don't go on this side. Go on this side. So we're going to do the next algorithm. It's going to be R. U, R prime, U, R, U2. U2 means you're just doing it twice. And then you're going to do R prime. And then U. So now, and then the second case. Let me give you the second case real quick. 
The second case is where you have two pairs switched up. And in that case, you're just going to do that twice, pretty much. And, yeah. So, now you're on to the corners. Or the third case is you already have all of them, so you can just skip that step or algorithm. So, we're going to do the next algorithm. So, see, um, where, so there's a correct corner right here, because it just needs turned like that, like that, so that counts as correct already, so, so we're going to keep that there, and find wrong ones, so we're going to count the correct ones, and keep that number in mind, because now we're going to have to, um, <coughs> switch them, the ones that are wrong, to the right place by doing, so, find a corner, right, like, like this one, that would need to go to here. In that case, you're going to go to the side that that wrong one is on, and... The wrong one should be on on um, the right side. So now we're going to do the next algorithm. So it's R U prime. Oh, and there's two different algorithms too. And L prime U R prime u prime and then the ending well not the ending well and then l and then u that's the ending so we're going to keep on doing that until you have the corners in the right place so now we got the corners in the right place right you can pause the video if you don't. Okay. So, now, there's like two different cases, I'm pretty sure. Wait, is there? Yeah, two different cases, I'm pretty sure. So, on this step, you're going to turn the cube over so now yellow is on top and the white is on bottom. No, yellow on top. No, yellow on bottom. Okay, it's, it's correct. Yellow on bottom. I'm sorry. Now we're going to do the right trigger on a wrong one. And one case is that you have four wrongs. Well, in the wrong orientation, but in the right case, like in the right place, you're just going to do this step twice. So we're going to do the right trigger until this is, until a corner is in the right position. So let me demonstrate before you do it. So... Now, this counts as solved here. Now, it might have messed that up. But now you're going to continue doing the sexy move. Well, sometimes people call it the sexy move for some reason. But now you're going to do the right trigger until it comes back. So, that's pretty much the last step. So, I'm sorry if I didn't explain everything you had, because I can't think of everything right now, because it's like night. So, now you should have it solved. Don't think of taking this off. Bad idea.
Oh, comment your brand down below of your cube. I have like a Q I Y I cube, I'm pretty sure. Let me see it. It's a Chinese. Anybody Chinese? Can you read this here for me? Okay, so. Yeah, mine. Mine is a. F oh, I'm pretty sure this says fantastic art. Guys, read it for me. <laughs> so, I have a fantastic art cube, apparently. <laughs> so, have a good day, guys. And have a good Christmas, too, because I just made you a present. <laughs> it's the Rubik's present. Oh, I have information for you. I recently solved the 7x7. Seven seven. So, I recently solved the 7x7 seven seven here. See? I literally solved the 7x7. Seven seven. Now I'm going to make the checkerboard on it. Present for you. <laughs> Hope you have a good Christmas. I could have said that in a different video. If I make a different video. Nope. I mean, bye guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye. Look at the mess.